Today, we'd like to talk to you about CCA procedure and encryption without buying maps in the Tenant model. This is joint work uh, with Keisuke Tanaka and Ryo Nishimaki. First, we show our uh, presentation. First, we introduce proxy encryption and its definition. Second, we show receipt of the function and uh, we review packet voters encryption scheme. Based on this scheme, we propose our scheme. Third, uh, we show our main, uh, our main idea and the proposed scheme. First, we introduce proxy encryption. We consider the setting or mail setting. The, the setting is a public encryption setting. That is, Alice and Bob have own public and secret keys, respectively. In this setting, Alice gets a ciphertext from somebody, and Alice thinks that Alice wants to find this mail to Bob. Alice wants a function or mail parting. A simple way is as follows. First, Alice decrypts this ciphertext into a message. Uh, second, Alice encrypts this, uh, this message into a ciphertext, and uh, Alice sends this message, uh, this ciphertext, into, uh, to Bob. All I want to do has been fresh. However, we consider that I think more, uh, I have a more demand. For example, I think that re encryption is very heavy only for mail fighting. And we think that I also consider that uh, I want to force the third party to re encrypt this separate text. If I resource is very small, that is a mobile phone or a smart card, this is a natural demand. In this case, uh, we consider proxy re encryption and proxy re encryption solve this problem. In the proxy re encryption, there is a semi trusted party proxy. Proxy has a re encryption key, and proxy gets a ciphertext from, uh, from ICE. And the proxy re encrypts this ciphertext into this. And the proxy, proxy sends this ciphertext to Bob. Actually, this is Bob's ciphertext. If there is this proxy, the problem of mail fighting is solved. Uh, we show an example of mail fighting for proxy encryption. However, uh, there exists other application of proxy encryption. There are mailing list management, file management, digital right management, and so on. Next, uh, we review the security notion of proxy encryption. The PRCCA security and PRCPA security are extensions of INDCPA and INDCPA security, respectively. They are keep a message uh, for uh, keep, they are keep a message secure for even the proxy. That is, proxy can re-encrypt this ciphertext into this ciphertext. However, proxy can't understand the message from G, uh, this transformation. Next, we classify proxy re encryption into two types. One is a unidirectional type, and the other is a bidirectional type. Uh, <coughs> in the unidirectional type, uh, one key performs one way transformation, that is, uh, proxy re encrypt this ciphertext into this ciphertext. However, proxy cannot into uh, this ciphertext into the, this ciphertext. Uh, in the unidirectional type, one key performs uh, Alice ciphertext into both ciphertext, but can't do both ciphertext into Alice ciphertext. On the other hand, bidirectional time, in the, bi in the bidirectional time, uh, one key performs two way transformation. Uh, that is, if one key, if one key re encrypts Alice ciphertext into both ciphertext, it can do uh, both ciphertext into Alice ciphertext. Uh, it can do Alice to Bob and Bob to Alice. From a simple observation, we can construct bidirectional type from unidirectional type. We use two unidirectional type key as a band bidirectional type key. However, we do not know the opposite transformation. Next, we show, uh, we show a simple proxy re encryption. This is simple proxy re encryption, Egamar encryption. Uh, Ice and Bob have own public and secret key, respectively. And Proxy has a re-encryption key y minus x, and this is this is ciphertext, and proxy, proxy re-encrypts this ciphertext into this and into this. Bob can 
we can decrypt this ciphertext into a message. Uh, of course, this proxy encryption is bidirectional type. Proxy can re encrypt both, both ciphertext into IC ciphertext. Next, we will be previous work or proxy encryption. This is the main previous work or proxy encryption. The first column shows who says I yes. And the next column shows uh, security notions. The next column shows directions. The next column shows assumptions. The next column shows pairings. Uh, then the next column shows random uncle. No means not using. Yes means using it. For this previous work, we consider that uh, we found one fact. That is, uh, pairings or random occur are necessary in order to construct uh, pro uh, PRE CC proxy encryption. Uh, we explain it. The first two schemes guarantee only CPA security, and the next two schemes uh, require the pairings. Pairing. Next two schemes require random uh, Therefore, uh, every previous PRE CCA scheme require pairings or random occur. Therefore, we consider that. Uh, can, we, can we construct PRE CCA scheme without varying maps in the standard model? And we construct it. This is our scheme. Our scheme is uh, the security notion, security is the PRECC security and direction is by direction and assumption is uh, based on the DDH assumption and no pairings and no random occur. This is asking. Next, we will lose it up the function and packet water encryption scheme. Based on this scheme, we propose asking. Uh, lose it up the function is uh, proposed by packet and water. Lose it up the function is one of the specialized top to the function. One of the construction or is based on the Elgamer encryption. <coughs> and they construct other, uh, other primitives, all but trap the functions, which is like Russian of the function. And they prove these two primitives are equivalent. And they construct the NDCC public encryption system from the, this, these two primitives. Uh, next, we explain receipt of the function. This, is, this figure is uh, receipt of the function's figure. Uh, right function is an injective function, and left function is Lucy function. Uh, oh, sorry. Left function is injective function, and right function is a uh, Lucy function. <coughs> left function preserves the information of, uh, preserve information of inverse. Left function can uh, can compute in the in best, and right fun oh, uh, uh, oh sorry sorry Le left 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 function is a lossy function left function oh. uh, left function loss or loss loss the inversion of inverse. Lossy drop the function says that. <coughs> If given a function, the decision can decide this function uh, whether this function is Russian or injective. The decision can decide Russian or injective. This is Russian of the function. Packet and water uh, construct this primitive and construct the INDCC public encryption system from this primitive. Really, this is this system. <coughs> this is packet water encryption scheme based on this system. We propose asking. We explain it. Public key, public key consists of, a public key consists of Russian top of the function, all but top of the function, and hash function. This hash function is not cryptographic hash. Uh, this hash function requires no assumption. And a secret key is F inverse. <coughs> and encryption proceeds as follows. It chose a randomness X and generate one time signature key. VK and SK schema. This one time signature key, uh, this one time signature scheme is made from one function. Therefore, we can construct one, one time signature 
uh, from Rosito Perfection. And it, and it generates a memory of ciphertext. Uh, the C1, C2, C3. C1 is f of x, and C2 is d of vk, and d of vk and x. C3 is x of m and hx. And it sign this members of ciphertext, C1, C2, C3, and generate the signature, sigma. And a ciphertext consists of C1, C2, C3. For this, for this scheme, we consider that. Can we use this scheme for proxy encryption? <coughs> Next, uh, we show our result and propose scheme. <coughs> this is the packet water encryption scheme. A little while ago, I said I use this scheme for proxy encryption. However, this scheme has have one difficult point for proxy encryption. This scheme has one difficult point for proxy encryption. Uh, that is this signature. We, exp we show this reason. We must transform, we must transform C1, C2, or C3 for proxy encryption. Therefore, this is main part of ciphertext. However, the verification algorithm of signature uh, reject the modified C1, C2, or C3. Uh, therefore, we <coughs> therefore we must transform C1, C2, C3. However, the signature scheme does not permit it. Uh, therefore, we consider that we do not sign C1, and this scheme granted INDCC public uh, INCC security. We show this reason. <coughs> First, the signature of C1, C2, C3. The signature of C1, C2, C3 means the signature of X and M. Because F is, F is injective function. Oh, sorry, uh, F is injective function. Therefore, uh, the signature of C1 means the signature of X. The signature of C1 means the signature of X. Similarly, the signature of C2 implies the signature of X because of the injectivity of Z of VK. Z of VK is injective function. Therefore, uh, the signature of C2 implies the signature of X. Uh, now, X is fixed from the signature of C2 and C2, C2 C1 and C2, <coughs> X is fixed. Therefore, the signature of C3 means the signature of M. Similarly, the signature of C2, uh, uh, sorry, uh, therefore, uh, the signature of C1, C2, and C3 means the signature of X and M. <coughs> Similarly, the signature of C2, C2 and C3 means the signature of X and M. X and M. That's signing C2 and C3 means signing X and M. Because of the injectivity of Z of VK and X is fixed. Uh, and we find out that it is important to sign X and M for proof. Signing X and M is important for proof, not C1, C2, C3. Therefore, uh, this game granted INDCC security because the signature of C2 and C3 means the signature of X and M. And we get a free part of the signature, C1. We get a free part. And we use this C1 for proxy encryption. This C1 is like Elgamon ciphertext because uh, this F is a Rossi the function and one of the construction of Rashid of the function is based on the Elgamer encryption. And proxy re encryption, uh, a simple proxy re encryption is Elgamer encryption. Therefore, you use, we use this C1 for proxy re encryption. For our purpose, we modify this Rashid of the function into the new primitive, which is we applicable Rashid of the function which is specialized Rossi the function for proxy encryption. We construct this RLTDX from the DDH assumption. 
Unfortunately, we, can, we cannot construct from the other assumptions, such as the LW or the linear assumption. Uh, and we construct this primitive from the DDH assumption. And we, we construct the bidirectional PICCA proxy encryption from the, this RLTDX in conclusion. Uh, we construct the bidirectional PRCC proxy encryption from the DDH assumption. This is the main result. This is our main result. Uh, next, we show our proposed scheme. Proposed scheme image. Ice and Bob have own public and secret keys, and Ice's public key is re replica Russian top of the function and its inverse. And proxy has a re-encryption key. Uh, this re-encryption key is made from FA inbus and FB inbus. And Alice's ciphertext is this, C1, C2, C3, Sigma, and VK. Sigma is a signature of C2 and C3, made from C2 and C3. And C1 is a FAX. <coughs> and proxy re-encrypts this ciphertext into both ciphertext. This is both ciphertext. C1 prime, C2, C3, Sigma, and VK. C1 prime is FB of X. Uh, this is both, both ciphertext, both public key. <coughs> FB is public, both public key. And the signature Sigma is uh, the signature of C2 and C3. Therefore, we can verify this signature. We can accept this signature. And both can decrypt this ciphertext. And we say again the advantage of ASCII. We construct a bidirectional PRE, uh, PRE, CCA, uh, PRE CCA proxy encryption without a pairing match in the standard model. No pairing and no random output. This is, uh, this is the advantage of our scheme. Thank you, Ru. Thank you.